I'd just like to show you some little rope toys that we made for the rats this week. We thought we'd have a go at making them and save some money and just make something a little bit different from the things that you can buy in the shops. Um, so I've just got the plaited rope, a twisted rope, some novelty toy with a string, little string ball in the middle, a little rope ball and then just another little ball made out of fine string for to put in the bottom of the cage. And the most important thing to get is um, completely 100% natural cotton rope and string with no preservatives or chemicals because um, that's obviously not good for your rats. Um, I had to go to an online uh, store to buy my rope. They so sold by the meter and um, I went to my local hardware store but they couldn't guarantee that the rope was free from chemicals so I decided I'll go somewhere where it's guaranteed safe because obviously you don't want your rats getting sick. Now this rope um, that I used, the main one, is a 9mm rope uh, diameter. You could use an 8 or a 10 or whatever thickness you want. I just got a few metres of that. A ball of cotton string, which came from the stationer's shop. A slightly thicker string. I just wanted to show you the difference. Um, this one here is the bleached one, which I'm not going to use. I wanted to just show you the difference in colour. The natural one is much better. And the only other thing you need is a pair of scissors. And you don't, it's not even necessary, but if you've got some old clips from hammocks um, for attaching them, or if you haven't, just one of the little spring-loaded um, gate clips. They're absolutely fine. So basically what we did with the first one, the little plaited one, is we got three pieces, three lengths of whatever length you want to make. You need to get the cord about three times the length because obviously when you plait it it's going to come up shorter. So but you want two pieces just a bit longer to make the hanging loop. This extra little bit you can just cut off and then all you do is just plait the rope until you've got the right length. Uh, and then just tie a knot in the bottom like I've done here or if you can't plait or you don't want to, even easier put the hoop loop here around a door handle so it keeps it nice and tight and then just twist the rope and then fairly firmly because it will un come undone otherwise and then when you get to the bottom just put the knot in the bottom so that's quite easy this one with the little ball in the middle I don't really know what I was thinking, I just thought I'd try something different. I made that a little bit longer so instead of attaching it with a clip I can just wind the, through the bars and thread it through like looping it into itself. But that was one long piece of cord um, and the ins other piece is just inside with the string wrapped around it and tied with a little tight knot there. I don't know what they think of that, but we'll find out. That, say, is just a ball of the very fine string for just rolling in the bottom of the cage. And now this one, I did have a look for some instructions of how to make a nice, um, neat sort of knot on the end, but I ended up not following them properly. So I just basically... Sorry, I've got the wrong one here. I just basically got two lengths of... of um, the rope. I did a knot at each end and then what I did was just tied another knot on top of the original knot just like that and pulled it really really tight and then I kept putting another knot on and another one on top until I got it to this size that's about four knots there but you can make that ball on the end any size you want really and that's just going to be clipped to the side of the cage rather than hanging from the top, so that's quite short. Um, but that was really just what I wanted to show you today. And you can have some fun and just make some different things. Um, don't use the coloured craft cotton or coloured string because obviously that's been dyed and the, the dyes will probably will not be safe for your rats. You don't want them to get sick or poisoned. And I know I say this every time, every video, but there's three things that I like to say is, one, make sure anything you make is safe for your rat. You don't want any accidents. It's got to be secure and no sharp edges. Um, make sure that uh, you have fun. That's the most important thing. 
and the other thing, natural. I, I don't like anything with chemicals for my rats or myself, so it's a nice, safe environment for your rats to play in. Uh, if anyone wants any more detailed instructions, I think it's all fairly simple, but if anyone wants to know any more, then just co contact me and um, I'll put something up for you. Thank you.